many believes in pre-tribulation rapture so they don't worry about the great tribulation because they believe that they will be raptured before the great tribulation so they don't prepare for it and they're not worried about the great tribulation but what's perplexing is those who do not believe in the pre-tribulation rapture they say there is no exemption from the great tribulation everybody has to go through the great tribulation so my question is this then what this verse means so this is revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because you have kept my command to persevere i also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth so he's saying the test that comes upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth this is none other than the great tribulation and it says jesus will keep those who kept his command to persevere he will keep him from that hour of trial so many pre-tribulation rapture believers believe that this verse means the rapture but if you don't believe in the pre-tribulation rapture then what would this verse mean so you can't just keep ignoring this verse and keep saying oh there is no exemption so what jesus means with this verse is the answer is in the uh, book of revelation chapter 12 verse 6 then the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by god that they should feed her there 1260 days so the woman is the woman who bore the child with the iron scepter who is jesus so the woman who bore jesus is israel so this woman is israel and it says god will let the woman flee into wilderness during this 1260 days that's three and a half years so that's talking about the great tribulation and it says god has a place prepared for this israel in the wilderness to feed her during the great tribulation so god has a place prepared to protect israel from the antichrist and feed them there so likewise not just for the israel god has a place prepared for the gentiles too during the great tribulation to protect them and feed them just like israel and god did the same thing in the the old testament times so when god destroyed sodom and gomorrah god made lot to flee the city into wilderness so he told him to flee to the mountain and also god told noah to build an ark to protect them from the flood so what happened at the sodom and gomorrah it symbolizes a lot about the coming tribulation which comes to punish those lukewarm christians who live a sinful life in these city systems so god will punish all these cities which is filled with a sinful lifestyle and those who keep god's command to persevere god will lead them out from the city to the wilderness because this all this city systems will go under the rule of the antichrist so you can't just ignore these verses by jesus and keep saying that there will be no exemption you just have to endure it and god is looking for those who will feed the christians during the great tribulation and protect them so jesus said who are these faithful and wise servants who will feed my people i will give him all that i possess so god is looking for the faithful and wise servants who will protect and uh, feed the people of god during the great tribulation and that's jesus's promise i wish you blessings from the lord